And you, it's a great phrase, borrowed words. Do you mean just from classical theater, or you say, uh, is Michael Healy's play borrowed words? Is the drawer boy drawer uh, borrowed words for David Fox? Perfect example. Very interesting. So yeah. there is the farm show, which uh -huh. is that the words come from yourself of who you are, and you don't, you know, as you quite uh -huh. rightly say, you don't bring on a whole bunch of baggage to someone else's ideas. And there's the drawer boy, which is. Uh -huh borrowed words, but also yeah. about the farm show experience. Yeah, and that's an interesting thing. Actually, um, I've always uh, thought that there was a very interesting thing that happens with uh, theater groups, and this may look like a sidebar to it, but I think it might meet around, is that you know when we were uh, all going full force in the early 70s, uh, there was definitely a Passmerai style, and there was definitely a Tarragon style. And what's interesting, when people ask me about Michael Healy's play, which I like a lot, which I have some nice debates that I'd love to have with Michael about it someday um, as well, because I don't think he realizes the full power of it. But um, what, uh, what's interesting about it is that basically uh, Two Pianos, Four Hands is a past Mariah show that made it at Tarragon. Really? And The Drawer Boy is a... Tarragon show that made it at Passmerai. Oh, you mean in style? In style. Oh, I see, I see, I see, right. Because, you know, Two Pianos, Four Hands is totally built on performance energy and, and reminiscent uh, and, and personal experience that gets manufactured into theatricality. And, uh, you know, the other one is a perfect uh, Tarragon 1972 play, including a refrigerator that works, a sink, and all of those things that seem to be very important for the naturalism yeah. that they were espousing at that time. Yeah. And it's, it's very, very interesting that just by some kind of uh, shift right. in, the, in the perspective of both companies that they could have uh, two of their most far-reaching effects. But in the drawer boy, yeah. the power in the drawer boy are, are these large crevices that are hidden that start to appear through the lives mm -hmm. and the yep. power in the farm show is the power of ordinary people actually being respected and presenting and finding the fascination with ordinary lives who are us yeah well, and except that yeah and, and, totally and the capacity powerful. for mythic uh, aspects from one uh, element or another i mean whether it's uh, mock epic or you know, a, probably the you know the say the Charlie Wilson, right, which has the myth of the loner, you know, and I guess is, has a parallel to say Jake and the Kid, although not. A, Sorry, know. Charlie Wilson is he the guy? Charlie Wilson is the, the old guy, the uh, the the loner who lives in a cabin, right? Not even right. in a cabin. He, right. he, it's a chicken coop. And he goes out and works, does day work with the farmers around, and uh, reads Dante's Divine Comedy at home at night, and talks about Brassica Olorakia, and has a secret uh, kind of life that he only reveals in letters to somebody else's wife. Now, he's absolutely at the mid midpoint between the two of them, right? Because Charlie Wilson was a real man yeah. who was only brought to life secondary by life David Fox. by <laughs> David Fox and yeah. but you going down there. Yeah, and but the elements of that out. story. Yeah. yeah, come in in there. Yeah, in there. But what you know, what Michael was uh, capable of doing was, in a sense, mythologizing the experience of uh, actors, you know, going out and discovering things right. or willing to do that. 